Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, we're going to do something very different. So what we'll be doing is we'll be redesigning Apple's landing page using Divi. Okay, so this is Apple's website. You can see it's nice and clean and this is their layout. It's very minimal, but we can achieve this very easy using Divi and our final design in Divi will look like this. Okay, you can see here I've chosen a, an Apple Watch which is on a white background, which is pretty much similar to what we have on the Apple website. And then if I scroll down here, these are our products. And also this is our footer area. Okay, so this layout, if you'd like to use it in your own projects, feel free to do that. You can download it. In fact, the link to the download will be in the show notes below or in the comments below. So you can go ahead, download it and use it in your own projects, be it personal or professional. And you don't have to worry about being in trouble with the copyright when it comes to the images because these images were downloaded from Pixabay, which is royalty free. Okay, so let's dive in and let me show you how we created this layout using Divi. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll be flipping back between the Apple website and the website that we'll be designing. Okay, so make sure you're logged into your WordPress admin dashboard and then come over here to pages and click on add new. So let's see the page we're going to um, we're going to name this page Apple Design. Let's click on use the Divi Builder and let's dive into the Visual Builder. So now that we're in the Visual Builder, what we need to do is to add our column structure. So I'm going to click this plus button, and we only need one column for this. Okay, I'm going to click this plus sign to add our module. So our first module is going to be the text module. So I'm going to go ahead now and select it. So because we don't want to use the same text that Apple is using, because obviously this will get us into a lot of trouble, we are going to be using some uh, dummy text, which we are going to get from Lorem 2. Okay, so um, I'm just going to copy my heading text here, come back to our site, I'm going to press enter. I mean, I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to add my description text, which is uh, about two lines, I think. So I'm just going to copy that and come over here and paste it. Right. So here's the thing. I'm going to come over here to visual. Now, if we want to make this text um, a heading, all we have to do is to highlight it here. And then instead of uh, leaving it as paragraph, we just set it as a heading. So now you can see it's heading two. Right, the next thing we need to do is to, cent uh, to center this. So I'm gonna come over here to design, click on text, uh, text orientation, center. Okay, so now that we have everything centered, that's looking really cool. Now, uh, we need to have two lines. So we can see here this description is coming on to two lines. So to achieve that, we need to use a bit of uh, code. So let's come over here to our content. And I'm going to go back into my text and we need to be in the text mode for this. It won't work in the visual uh, visual mode. So I'm going to come over here and this is the tag that we need to use. It's just BR. Okay. In those uh, brackets. Okay. So that's all you need to do. And you can see here in our preview that now we have this on uh, two lines. Okay. So I'm going to come over here to uh, design and this time we need to make our text slightly bigger. So I'm going to come over here to text and I'm just going to increase the size a little bit. Uh, I'll say 26 is uh, fine. Okay, let's come over here to the line height and let's uh, adjust the line height. So 1.4 uh, EMs, that's perfect. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead now and save changes. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add a new row and in that row, we're going to add an image. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button here, single row as before. And this time we need to have an image module. Right, I'm going to click on upload for the image URL. I'm going to come over here to upload files, select files. Now my files are on the desktop in the thumbnail folder. So let me just find that. All files, thumbnails. Okay, good. Right, so the image we're going to use here is for uh, the Apple Watch. Now, you may notice that this image is on a white background. That's what really works for uh, this design. So if you come over here to the Apple website, you can see 
that the background is all white. And this is what we're trying to achieve by adding this um, Apple Watch on a white background. Excellent. So uh, the one thing as well I need to adjust here is the animation. So I'm going to come over here and click alignment, uh, image alignment. First of all, this needs to be centered and uh, animation, animation. Where is it? Okay, I can't find the animation. So if you can't find it, it's simple. We can search for it. So just type the first few letters and left to right it is. So I'm going to say no animation. Go ahead and save changes. Okay, so that's looking good so far. What we need to do next is to add a completely new section. In fact, before we do that, let's make this row full width. So I'm going to come over here to our row settings. Click on design. I think it's sizing and yes. And then let's click on make this full width. Okay, so that's much better. I'm going to go ahead and save for now. And then we're going to go back and do some customizations. Right, so let's add a new section. So. To add a new section right here, I'm struggling because my plus button here for the section is behind this expand setting. So I'm just going to go into expand settings and go into my wireframe view. And then I can just add it right here. So let's add our row and this time we need four. Okay, so I might as well just add my image module in here like that. I'm going to click on it. And then let's search for our first image. I'm going to come over here to upload files, select files. So to make things easier for me, instead of me going back and forth, uploading these images one by one, I am just going to click all these four images and just add it onto my website. I mean, onto my media library. That's easier. So this will take a while to upload. Okay, perfect. We have all our images. So I'm just going to, uh, because the first one is selected, I'm just going to click upload an image. Right, so perfect. So now this is time to move back into our visual editor. So I'm just going to click this button right here. And we can see our images right there in place. So let's go on to design. And uh, we need to sort out the animation. Because this animation from left to right is good in some situations, but in this case, we just need everything to be static. So I'm gonna set this to no animation. Okay, I'm gonna save. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do here is to duplicate and, I mean, to duplicate this image module. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't wanna go back in and do that animation that uh, I just suggested. So I'm gonna copy and paste like that. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to go into each and one of each and every one of these and I'm going to change the image. So the next one is this iPad, upload image, save that, come on to the next one. This time it's, um, okay, it's this uh, MacBook, upload image, and then the final image. I'm going to come over here into my settings and Let's choose our final image, which is the iMac upload image. Right, so we have all our all our four images in place. I'm going to come over here and save. So the next thing we need to do here, if we take a look at um, the Apple's website, we can see that the images are going across the whole um, site. So right now, ours are not. So to do that, we need to come over here to our row settings and we need to make this row full width. So let's come over here to design and then click on sizing and then click on make this row full width. So you can see now that it's full width. Now we're not done yet because we still have gaps between our images. Now to get rid of that, you need to come over here to use gutter width. Yes, use gutter width and set this to one. Now you can see that the images are closer together. Let's go ahead and save. Right, so that's looking much, 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 much better. So what we're going to do next is to get rid of all this space, all this padding. So let's start off by using our section. I'm going to come over here to our section settings. I'm going to search for padding. And for padding top, I'm just going to put zero in there. And zero for the bottom. OK, 
okay and save now we can see that we still have uh, some padding on there and uh, this might be coming from in yes it's coming from our row so i'm going to come over here into our row settings again i'm going to search for padding right so padding top zero padding bottom zero excellent so now we can see there's no gaps in there now let's do the same thing over here as well so i'm going to come into this row settings again i'm going to search for padding so padding top zero padding bottom zero and then i'm going to do the same on the column padding and save okay i'm going to do the same over here as well click the row settings but this time i need to add it onto the bottom okay padding and i'll just add it to the bottom like that so now you can see the why the watch has just moved closer to the text which is exactly what we need i'm going to save for now okay so um we're almost there now it's time to add our text so this is quite straightforward because all we have to do is to use the text modules okay so let me show you how to do that so let's add another section so i'm going to come over here to my um, wireframe view click this plus button here and uh, click on regular and we need four columns and all we need in those are text modules so i'm going to search for text like that so what we're going to do here is we're going to add a heading so our heading could be let's say this text right here as our heading and then we just need to add let me take a look okay it's just words below each other so i'm going to come over here and um let's choose let's just choose different words i know this is going to be tedious but um this is how we can achieve this all right so i'm just choosing random words like that so all I'm doing here is just copy and pasting. Now, if you'd like to use this layout for your own purposes, you know, you'll be using the actual text and you can just go in and replace the text that I'm adding in here with your text. So it's, that's, it's that simple. Right, perfect. So now we have all our text. I'm going to come over here to visual. Anyway, so I'm just going to come over here and make it a heading five or maybe even a heading six. See, there's always ways around this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to save this for now and I'm just going to duplicate this a few times so that uh, this place, this area here is populated well. Okay, so let's take a look and um, okay, so that's looking good. So what I'm going to do again is this text is way too big. I'm just going to make it slightly smaller because we can see on the Apple website, the text is slightly smaller. So instead of having it as 14, let's bring it down to about 13. And then let's bring down the line height as well. Yeah, 1.6 is fine. Okay, let's go ahead and save. And now we're just going to copy and paste this over here like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and publish our page and let's do a quick preview. So now it's time to exit the Visual Builder and there we go. That's our website. Very, very similar to Apple's landing page. As I mentioned, you can download this layout and use it as many times as you want on your professional or your personal projects. Okay, thank you very much for watching and um, see you in the next video.